All right, I guess it's official. We've started. Love yourself. This is by special request. Hey, Silver Lining coming on in the house. Oh my goodness, look at y'all coming in. Liz Smith Events, Linda Larson. The dude, Raymond Cinemano. Oh, we got some good peeps coming on here. Hey, you guys. Giancarlo. Raymond, it's going awesome. We had an incredible night last night uh, with the para meetup. Raymond was there. Some of you guys peeked in. Hey, hey, Liz Smith. Hey, Susan Bratton. Love you, girl. Got to follow Shailene Johnson, Susan. Thought about you. Follow her, follow, follow, follow her. That's a wonderful follow of what you're up to. So fun, so fun. I'll share all sorts about that. Let me tell you about today, tell you about myself so we can make sure we stay to point here. What do you think about Russia? I'm clearly missing something. Something happened in Russia because I've not turned on the news this morning. Um, so if I'm missing something, let me know. Unless you just say what I think about Russia. I love Russia. <laughs> Hi, Sandra, Divine Mind Code. Awesome to share this with you. Okay, so I had a request for me to do a scope about self-love uh, from Inspire. I forget the rest of her name. Followed you because of the meetup last night. Awesome, Alba. Woohoo! So this should be fun. So I actually... Um, went and crafted, I even did some research, but I went and crafted uh, seven action steps to move you to, into self-love. And if you're game, if you're game on, and wanna do this together as a community, let's try this on together for a week and see how you feel, see what opens up for you, see what shows up for you, see how you shift in the next week by taking that on. Awesome, right Giancarlo? Uh, did someone say what time is it over there? I missed that comment. It is currently 1.47 p.m. PST. I'm game, awesome, awesome. Um, I'm Lynn Rose. I tend to scope on motivation, on media, on music and marketing tips and take you on behind the scenes happening events. So um, let's start off right now just for fun because I think one of the action steps is playing. But that's like a little later after we get some of the more meteor ones. Okay, meteor, like a shooting star, or meteor, meteor. I already love myself. I know you do, Susan, and I love you too. <laughs> and I think there's ways we can t expand even the love we have for ourselves, or if we're a bit cut off from it, or we're recognizing there's some gaps in some areas in our life around that, then I believe these seven action steps get you re-anchored and realigned or even expand already that good feeling. Okay, so I'm looking forward to sharing that with you. First, hey Susie Q, Woo. let's just like do a little snap in like this. We're gonna do it like we did um, last night with the crowd. Just clap along where you are or tap your screen for the hearts. Let's tap to the beat. And it's about I'm ready. Are you ready? Are you ready? Red as anybody can be, red as anybody can be. Are you ready? Ready? Red as anybody can be. Oh, thank you, Susan. We're ready for you. I hope you're ready for me. <laughs> there you go. We can keep on singing, having fun. But ooh, it's a little fun to go ahead and kick it off. I saw Shailene Johnson, who she's this just badass businesswoman kicking it and so fun and playful and she kicked it off rapping all right so let me share with you um when i was doing my research i thought well let's look up always a good place to start what's the definition that people have of self-love right and on google the main highlighted edition oh <laughs> la 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 <laughs> this point now it's just like we get to have fun practicing keeping the integrity of our peeps here that's right that's what we done did <laughs> so keep going we'll do so self-love as a noun is regard for one's own well-being and happiness chiefly considered as a desirable rather than narcissistic characteristic and you gotta always have fun right DCD we saw you with us too last night so um, I love also what uh, this article in psychology today wrote say soledad soledad how about that word uh, in psychology today it said self-love is a state of appreciation for oneself that grows from actions that support our physical psychological and spiritual growth Self-love is dynamic. It grows by actions that mature us. It's a different take on it, isn't it? 
And it makes sense. Of course, that's what it is. When we act in ways that expand self-love in us, we begin to accept much better our weaknesses as well as our strengths. We have less need to explain away our shortcomings. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much, Avira. <laughs> um, have compassion for ourselves as human beings struggling to find personal meaning and are more centered in our life purpose and values and expect living fulfillment through our own efforts. Isn't that great? So what a great, without self-love, you must, you get sick. You must love yourself. It's part of true self. Yes. Hello from England. Sending sun and love. Wonderful. Expanding means that even when you love yourself, you can still grow more. Exactly. Love this one. Oh, thank you, Sandra. Love that. Me too. So, um, I have, uh, I, I, long ago I had a, um, a syndicated radio show on personal achievement, and I got to interview, interview, interview all the greats from Brian Tracy and Dennis Waitley to Robert Kiyosaki, Tony, Tony Robbins, uh, Robert, oh uh, goodness, of the Crystal Cathedral Church. I can't believe Robert Schuler. Excuse me, and um, and you know I learned so much from them, and I also learned about goals and personal achievement. But one of the things I really get that I get for myself. And that I, I get as I do work with others is it's that inner game that's everything. You can know everything you need to do in any aspect of business or some, something you want to achieve. But if that inner game and there's a part of that missing, that's going to hold you back no matter what. You can try to push your way and you know, force your way. But true living, true enjoyment is when we can really come from that anchored place of self-love, of clarity, of flow, and be able to dissolve the barriers to our connection to ourselves, to life, to purpose, right? So um, I had created a program back then called The Goal Getter about how to get to your goals with focus, ease, and fun. And I had kind of an action plan of which a lot of it addressed even the inner game. And then also a program I had called The Wow Factor WOW is an acronym for Without Walls, and it was a speaking training. And really what it was all about was dissolving. Oh, thank you, Indigo Ocean. Oh, I peeked on your scope, your replay today. It was great. And I heard Shailene mention you. So I was like, go, oh, yay, Indigo. Um, so I, in, in that, the WOW Factor training, Without Walls, it really was about dissolving the walls and the barriers so that people could show up completely in their power, connected, on fire, speak powerfully, fearlessly, and authentically, all right? So this is a passion of mine, and I know I had to do it for myself and continue to. I think we all need to. Hello from France. Hello, Liam team. By the way, if you think this would be a value for your folks, and it will be, this is going to be juicy. Oh, I need to meet you too. Thanks, Miss Lexus. Uh, please do invite with your followers. To do that, you swipe to the right or swipe up. Click on the share button and then you'll see where you can invite all followers or invite Twitter. So definitely would appreciate that if that resonates for you. And also I can judge by your hearts if it's resonating or not. And so if it feels like it resonates, you tap the screen and that creates hearts. All right. So that kind of keeps us connected and know when we're in the flow. Awesome. So seven actions to move you into self-love. And if you're on for trying this for one week, you can say, yes, it's the self-love plan. Let's all try this together and then tune back in a week from now, okay? I'm excited to try this for myself. And Miss Lexus lives in Riverside. Awesome. I'm in Marina Del Rey. Yeah, yeah. Awesome, Alba and Ms. Shaquanda. Love it. Okay, so first is gratitude. Now, a lot of people hear gratitude and they roll their eyes and think, oh, yeah, be grateful, huh? But how many of us really, truly, truly, truly are tuning into gratitude? And it's not an airy-fairy or woo-woo concept. There is science behind gratitude and why it works. What's happening, just to say it in the simplest form, is with gratitude, you're focusing on what is working rather than what is not. Oh, thank you, Sandra. Awesome. Yes, I have a gratitude journal. Right. And what's important is we don't even just kind of by rote say what we're grateful for, but really feel into it. So to start off your day, and end your day. Gratitude is amazing. So let's just try this for one week. I'm going to try it too, and we'll tune in with each other along the way and next week, okay? Yay! You guys, we're pioneers together on this, our self-love plan. So in the morning, before you get out of bed, if you want, if you rather just think it through, 
just tune in and think of seven things you're grateful for, or preferably write it down. There's something about writing it down. And then don't just write, I'm grateful for the bird that sang outside my window, which counts. Any little thing counts. I'm grateful I have a roof above my head. All that counts. But write because I'm grateful for the bird that sang outside my window because I feel connected to nature. I feel connected to this beautiful soul that's creating music. You know, write your because along with it. That's going to anchor you even deeper into gratitude. Yes, the reasons why. I'm so grateful for my sweet dog, Cody, because he loves me unconditionally. Oh, thank you. He loves me unconditionally. He's always wagging his tail, even if we may not be in a, a great mood around him or something. Gratitude feels so good, too. And when we're feeling good, we're creating that goodness in our life and in our moments. We have, we have space cleared in our heads to think clearer, to end up being more productive, to be happier while we're going about what we have to do, right? So in the morning, think that gratitude awesome new to your scope crystal from mississippi hey i'm so glad you're here wonderful to meet you um and and i do connect casts as well where i like to inter interconnect everyone and network you guys with each other so uh, there will be a scope at some point for that so make sure you're following so we can continue to keep the connection growing with each other and um ourselves here so then also when you're grateful you attract more things to be grateful for right on ms shaquanda right on game on and at night so you do seven things you're grateful for in the morning and seven things you're grateful for at the end of the evening before you go to sleep hi new from chicago hey caro awesome were you with us last night wasn't that fun cool so um the gratitudes in the morning and at night okay and then as you're going through your day if something's irritating you or you're feeling down or something's coming up for you other than things that you need to allow yourself to just move through Sometimes we need to allow ourselves to go, wow, I'm feeling this way. What's up? And you get curious and you be with it. And therein lies the challenge two times a day. <laughs> it's not a challenge, right? It, well, I guess just making sure that we actually do it in the morning and at night. And that's what I was going to say, Susan, sprinkle throughout the day. So take a moment and pause and go, okay, what am I grateful for right now? Or let's say you're getting angry, you got cut off in traffic, and you're like, ah, you caught it. You go, ha, 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 decide to laugh at it instead. And then shift to, okay, what am I grateful for? Seven things I'm grateful for. I'm grateful I didn't crash just now. <laughs> I'm grateful, et cetera, grateful, grateful, okay? Grateful for Lynn and my friendship with her. Oh, Susan, I'm so grateful for you. There's some great people here, and Susan's one of them. So you guys definitely follow each other. Oh, yeah, I'm loving your energy. Definitely connected. Awesome, C stretch. Thank you. So... Um, using gratitude as a shifter throughout the day and certainly in the morning and at night okay exactly thank you Sandra 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 awesome for echoing that too so that's number one number two along with what you do first in the morning and the evening also do this and it's acknowledgement so acknowledge yourself seven things to acknowledge yourself for in the morning just in general about yourself you could say I like I like the shape of my eyes. <laughs> I want to acknowledge myself because I, I, I like smiling at strangers and wishing them a nice day. I mean, whatever that is for you, I acknowledge myself for being good about being organized. You know, and don't worry about the things that you want to be working on in your life. It's acknowledging yourself for what you feel you want to acknowledge yourself for, the small and the big. It can be things from the past. It can be just things in general about you. And then at night, before you go to sleep, think through your day and think of seven things throughout the day you want to acknowledge yourself for. I want to acknowledge, Kara, uh, <laughs> uh, I hope that's just a joke or saying that oh, that's what you're acknowledging yourself for. Um, look into the mirror and say these wonderful things. Positive psychology, focus on the good. Yep, because where your attention flows, this is a new expression that came up with, <laughs> it's kind of a take on a famous one we've heard, but where your attention flows, abundance grows. So the abundance of the goodness, the abundance of what you want. So flowing, okay, well, sorry, had to block. It happens, it's okay. Uh, yep, they're blocked, thank you. And you guys help police me if I see someone, all right? 14 things per day, need to take notes to remember. <laughs> Oh, I know. It's okay. Oh, you guys, it's all right. It's a great practice in blocking, letting go, and not even giving it any energy, right? Because what good does it do? What's the benefit? And it's just that way per that person's attempt at attention. So they got their attention because they got blocked. Ta-da! And now we move on. 
Yay. <laughs> so, yes. Yeah, so seven things in the morning you're grateful for and seven things you want to acknowledge yourself for in the morning. And same thing at night. Hi, dear Alex Karras. Follow Alex. He's awesome. Okay. Um, and I will write this up as a list. If you guys would like it, you can email me that you'd like the list. Um, I'll also post it on my Facebook page. Uh, if you go to Facebook and look up Lynn Rose, I'm the Lynn Rose, the big audience behind me cheering. You know, you'll see that overall picture. Okay. Divine Mind Co. did a scope on this this morning. Oh, how cool. All right. So gratitude and acknowledgement in the morning and at night. So that's the two, number two. One is gratitude. Two is acknowledgement. Then three, and this is what we're going to practice throughout the week, is once a day. And not once a day, as much as you can, as much as you want. But I think number three is connect. Yes, Miss Lexix. Lynn Rose. Lynn Rose. I'm going to post this on my Facebook page. And so I'll, and I'll say that, and I'll even point to this uh, Periscope for people to watch it. Uh, so connect. Connect is number three as our self-love plan. And connect in all sorts of ways. Connecting. Oh, hey, Mikey. Thank you. Hmm. So connecting to nature. Connecting to yourself. Connecting to your pet. And here's a one proactive way is reach out to a friend or a family member you haven't connected with in a long time and just call them to acknowledge them and say that you care and appreciate them and do that at least once a day. And if you run into someone along the way, just find something to acknowledge or appreciate about them and share that in a way you could call that even giving and by giving to others, we're giving to ourselves, right? But that's, and by giving, we're connecting right? Connection is king. Connection is everything. And when we um, like step outside of ourselves and have that connection, it can deepen that self-love. Okay. Hi, Sean. Welcome, Sean P. So that's the number three thing is connect. I've reached my Facebook friend at limit. Cannot add. That's correct, Super Queen B. However, you can follow and I will check you out. And I think I automatically follow you once you follow me. Okay. Hey, Daniel's back in the house. So definitely uh, still go there. <laughs> it's not up there yet. It will be up there this afternoon when I get off this scope. I'll then put it up right away. Okay. Ah, uh, okay. Thanks. I'm sorry. I know. I just eh, limited me at 5,000 friends. So, but we can still follow each other. It's as if we're friends. It's the exact same thing. Um, all right. So that's three. Con gratitude, acknowledgement, connect. Connection, you go say. Number three, number four, and I think this is huge, huge, is to shift the judgment. Shift the judgment on ourselves and others. Okay? You want to, we want to observe because it often happens in a default way. Awesome sauce! <laughs> in a default way, right? We got judgment going on, going, ah. I was doing that, to be honest, before this scope. I was even laughing at myself, going, wow, isn't that interesting? I'm going to be doing a scope on self love because someone requested that I do that. And I'm here judging myself, going, oh, my eyes look tired. I don't like the way the hair is here and my makeup. I was, I was judging all over the place. I was like, oh, isn't that interesting? And instead of judging myself for judging, that's a big one. As I noticed it, it's just human. It's going to happen. It's so important. Hello, gorgeous. How are you, Danny Beck? Woo, love Danny Beck. Oh my God, we got to see you last night. Woot, woot. We'll take a little break after I finish the discussion on Shift the Judgment to talk about last night, and then we'll finish up the rest of the seven here. Great meeting to you last night. It's so awesome. We aren't perfect. We're humans, and we're designed to, you know, be discerning. We're designed to like, oh, is that going to work this path over here? Like in our survival from where we come from. I love you. My pastor talked about this yesterday in service, the pitfalls of comparisons. Exactly. And that's exactly what I have in here too, including bye-bye to comparison and needing approval from others. Now it's okay that that shows up for us. We just need to catch it and let it go and not judge ourselves that it came up, but also not get hooked into it. Just notice it and go, oh, I see what I'm doing. I'm comparing myself right now. Okay, and what's the benefit of that? And what, what is it for me that makes sense to me? What works for me? So do that for yourself. But also the judgment. Um, we can be so hard on ourselves and it's not serving any purpose other than holding you back, other than weighing you down. And it stands in the way as a barrier between you and someone else. Notice when you're in an airplane and the little judger that's going off about other people even, 
stay neutral to our thoughts, enlightened. <laughs> right, I love the neutrality uh, force that you have, Sandra. It's wonderful. It's poison, you know, I and I'll catch it. And it's okay, we, it's so important though, we don't judge ourselves for the judging. What's important is we catch it and then we shift it. Recommend you to watch Foo's YouTube on YouTube. He keeps it real and talks about life lessons like you. Awesome, Daniel, thank you. Perfect, remind us at the end, Daniel, okay? Um, so by just catching the judgment, but letting it go, because I was noticing on the flight the other day, wow, I had some subconscious or unconscious judgments I caught. I didn't even realize they were going on. And once I caught them and was able to release them and feel compassion instead or laugh about it, because everyone has their own path. Even like the hate, the, um, the trolls that come on here and like to say things, we, we can judge them. We can go that, ugh. but we can also just go, they're needing attention. You know, they have their own path. And that's the way they're acting out. God bless them and move on. You know, they sneak in silently. And if we start uh, judging folks in a negative way, it's actually in like a mirror, having that some of that come back to us because it's creating that disconnect. And connection is everything, remember? So that's actually number three. So number four is shift the judgment. And ways to shift the judgment besides catching it and then choosing to shift it and not judging it while you catch it, but choosing to shift it, is also uh, to laugh, laugh about it, okay, laugh, you know, and or tune into gratitude, and or if you're really hard on yourself and judging yourself, again, think about what you want to acknowledge about yourself, to be able to shift it. When you point a finger, three are pointing back at you. Look, right, Sandra, <laughs> exactly. Shift to something positive. I have a thing, and if you like, I'll do a scope about it at another time. Um, and it's uh, creating what I call an empowering statement. So you shift out of the disempowering into the empowering, and it's a way to dismantle those disempowering statements we have going on in our head all the time about ourselves. And then the empowering statement is your anchor, that when you catch yourself, you then just remember this empowering statement, and it's your anchor to anchor back in to what works for you, what you're about, what your purpose is. So we'll talk about that another time if you like. Thanks for the hearts. That helps me know that this has value for you. Okay, so, okay, good. Cairo, I will. Awesome. All right, so that number one is gratitude. Number two is acknowledgement in the morning and the evening. Connect once a day. Reach out to a friend or family member you haven't connected with in a long time. Thank you, C-Stretch. Awesome, C-Stretch. Um, and acknowledge them and say that you care and appreciate them. So that's number three. Number four is to shift the judgment. Don't judge the judgment as you catch it in yourself or others. Just shift it in yourself and don't get hooked into others' judgment either. That's hard when you catch someone judging you. You want to judge right back, right? We want to defend ourselves. We're like, that's not fair or that's not true or why are they doing that? But all that does is hook you in to what's going on with them. So it doesn't serve a purpose. So what's best is to stay in this goodness, stay in your lane, right? Why you reach out and connect and spread your light. Not to sound all woo-woo, spread your light, but you know what I mean. Okay, so in one, two, three, four. Then uh, I'm going to tell you uh, we have one, two, three more. Is that right? Yes, three more. Yeah, four plus three equals seven. <laughs> Cheers. Clearly, I need my coffee. Uh, <laughs> mm. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, Super Queen Bee. Uh, awesome. So just about last night, uh, definitely go back and watch the replays. You can look it up by hashtag DTLA para meetup. Nothing woo about this, just common sense. Thank you, Sandra. Uh, and we had so much fun. And it was so great to see all these fellow scopers like Danny Beck, who's on here with us. If Raymond Cinemato is still on here with us to meet in person, these wonderful, positive brilliant folks and get to meet in person and connect. It was really fun. And it was crazy. Just fun, fun too. stay in your own lane. Yeah, it really is. It's it's part of self care, which by the way, brings me to number five. <laughs> Are we ready? Drum roll, please. Drum roll with hearts Brrr, on your screen with a drum roll. <laughs> share with my followers. Love you. Good vibes. God bless you. Well, thank you to share you swipe to the right or swipe up. Click on the share button, up will come, share with all followers or share with Twitter or however you want to do it. Yusuf in the house, hey! All right, so number five, drum roll please, is self-care. 
That's another action into self-love. So self-care commitment to eat better, I mean, or at least eat more consciously. It's okay, I think, to let yourself have that piece of chocolate cake or a bite of chocolate cake every now and then, or, you know, fries. But when you're just constantly turning to what doesn't feed your body, it affects how you feel, yes. And also there's just something about self-respect in knowing that you're honoring yourself and you're gonna take care of yourself. Oh, wonderful. So you want to eat better, you want to move. We need to move every day. There's scientific studies that show that's a key part of age of, of agelessness or of aging slowly, more slowly, is to move every day. And also for your chemistry, your body chemistry, eating better clears my mind, exactly Alba. And moving too, so moving, and even if you just walked outside. Hello, I like your accent. Thank you, Jamie. <laughs> I want a box of chocolate. <laughs> I do too, I can't have one right now. I'm on a, a special diet to reset my metabolism. It's going great. Thank you, Emma. Sweet. Hi, Bonnie Kale from SJ Capistrano. Welcome. Hashtag exercise. It fuels me for the day, doesn't it? Absolutely. So we are going over, if you just tuned in, I'm Lynn Rose. I scope on media, motivation, and music, and behind-the-scenes fun, and sometimes marketing tips. Donuts don't kill. That's right, show on stage. It's just not having donuts all the time. <laughs> but uh, so we're sharing. I got requested to do a scope on self-love. And self-love is really about actions that we take that anchor in and demonstrate that self-love for ourselves, or that is the way with, towards self-love. So we've covered gratitude, uh, acknowledgement, uh, connection, and uh, <laughs> shifting the judgment, and next is self-care commitment. So let's keep moving down that floor, and I'll answer questions when I get through these, answer questions outside of off-topic uh, when I get through these, okay? and certainly keep contributing because we have an incredible group of peeps here. So I love you guys, our Connect Cast peeps. Uh, exercise my natural high, exactly forever faith, me too. Anything counts. So that self-care, uh, and that includes setting boundaries and saying no more often. It's hard, isn't it? I know I like to say I want to say yes to everything. I want people to be happy. I like mango. Okay, good. <laughs> Have mango. Enjoy. <laughs> are you juicing? How are you resetting? Um, I'm resetting through a, 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 this cleanse called HCG, cleanse slash diet that resets your metabolism. That's a whole other topic. But um, part of self-care, that was part of my self-care, getting back on the track, getting back on my own lane. I was starting to veer off and letting myself eat too much junk and it was showing, you know, so self-care honoring ourselves and taking care of ourselves. So eat better, move more, hate to say no, don't let to, like pe letting people down, exactly. But you know what, have you thought about this? Maybe you're letting people down by saying no when you really, by saying yes when you really mean no. I, I wanna feel free to ask somebody something, but I want, oh goodbye, I'm glad you jo joined in. And make sure you follow if you aren't so we can keep the connection going. But I don't, I want to feel free to ask something, but I also want the person who I'm asking to have the freedom to say no if it's not a fit. I don't want them to say no out of obligation. I'm a professional snacker. <laughs> me too, if I can get away with it. I love to help people, so it's hard for me to say no. I only say it to jerks and advantage takers. <laughs> Thanks, Jamie. Awesome. Well, I, I think it's important that we, and we can say no with grace, and we can say no in a way that's still a win-win. You know, someone might ask for me to do, let's say, an event, and I can't because I have a, uh, some other commitment. They want, want me to cancel that so I can do theirs. And I can say, I'd love to, but for me, I need to hold on to my commitments so I don't feel comfortable canceling that commitment in order to do yours. But please keep me in mind for a future one and whatever way I can support you, help you find somebody else. You know, so there's ways you can say no to still, you know, hold your boundaries, but still honor the other person. Can you say that question again about how do you motivate to exercise or something so I can answer that properly, okay? Or just ask that after we get through, you know, these next three of the seven action steps for self-love, okay? So that self-care commitment. Now, the other part of self-care and committing is meditating. Hi for the no. Is It is good for us to know it's not personal and has nothing to do with us. I need an e-course on saying no. I had someone who was writing a course on that. I can't remember what it was, a friend of mine. 
you're starting HCG Monday, it's the bomb. It's awesome. Great. You got to do it right. So hopefully you're doing it right, but it's great. All right. So um, what I was going to suggest is to meditate and it's hard when we're busy or we're distracted. Are you doing the global meditation scope? I'm not, but I need to know about it. Didn't know about it. But you, even if you meditated for just three minutes a day, it makes a difference. Just stepping back, taking that breath, just tuning in, letting your mind be a jumble, but just quieting it even for three minutes. I'll tweet you. Thank you, C Scratch. That'd be awesome. Um, and I have one to recommend. Actually, she started out as a client and now as a dear friend, and that's Dina Proctor. DinaProctor.com also known as madlychasingpeace.com. And she has a whole library of three-minute guided meditations on anything and everything you can imagine. In fact, I suggested to her to create these, and now she has them, and they're fantastic. So around, whether it's on abundance or confidence or getting over addiction or whatever. So you could go in to uh, madlychasingpeace.com or dinaproctor.com. Hey, Noel. Noel, excuse me. And you can uh, check out a three-minute guided meditation there in case you think meditation might be hard for you. Even just closing your eyes and taking a deep breath can make a difference. Exactly, Sandra. By the way, Divine Mind Code is phenomenal. Please click and follow her. She's in the yellow, Divine Mind Code. Comment again so they see you. And thank you, Yusuf, for dinaproctor.com putting that in there and Shaquanda putting madlychasingpeace.com. They point, they point to the same site, so thank you. Scopers around the world will be leading meditations all day long this Saturday. <gasps> There's Jennifer, one in yoga. Thank you. One in yoga and Divine Mind Code. You guys need to connect. You'll love each other. You'll fall in love with each other. And I recommend everybody follow both of them and each other here. We just have such a wonderful community. So I know that covers a lot, but knowing whatever way you can step up your self-care, make that commitment this week. Self-care. Eat better. Move more. Meditate. Set your boundaries, all right? So self-care commitment this week. It was so fun seeing you, Jennifer. I know. So that's part of our commitment for this week. And we'll tune in along the way at the end of this week and see how we feel, what's improved in our lives, what's showing up for us as a result. Let's do it. So now let's move to number six. And this is sometimes maybe a tough one. Uh, maybe not. But and that is to forgive yourself and others. Hi, baby boy. Welcome, baby boy. I love your name. <laughs> but forgive yourself and others. Forgiveness is like, or resentment, is like drinking poison and wishing the other person to die. Right? Thank you, Yusuf. So, and, and Eve, especially if it's on yourself, uh, you know, and I'm going to read a little bit from this Psychology Today uh, article. <clears throat> you know that thing you did one time, or maybe a few times, that made you feel bad, embarrassed, ashamed? It's time to let that go. It's time to let that go. You can't change the things that you've done in the past, but you can control your future. So, Look at it, exactly. Look at it as a learning experience and believe in your ability to change. He's back, Alex. Yay, phew. I know. Such bouncing around, right? But so with forgiving yourself, it's going, okay, I know that happened. That's so hard for me to remember that I ever did that or I ever was like that or whatever that might be or this mistake, whatever it might have been. Forgive yourself. Where are you now? What is the benefit on holding on to that and beating yourself up? is no benefit. <laughs> there is benefit in looking at what you can learn from it, in healing from it, from apologizing or reaching out, but you will regret holding on to that grudge. Exactly. Um, and it acts again as that barrier between you and others, between you and your happiness, between you and your possibility and clarity. Self-compassion is a beautiful thing. Well said, Fit Baker Mom. Thank you. What if it was this morning? Same thing. Exactly. And the better we get at self-forgiveness, the better we can to let things go. It's not forgive it and then just do it again without, without remorse. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying to recognize that we're human, that we want to be mindful, and then what ways can we grow and improve, but also we need to let it go. And how can we now do it better moving forward? Sometimes even if the other person is wrong, we should forgive and move on. Exactly. Exactly. Even just the most horrific things you can't imagine. Um, Emmanuel, I can't forget him. Immaculate, out of Rwanda, is an incredible speaker and 
may have no oh thank you alex <laughs> positivity is key yes so immaculate i i um emceed the california women's conference and she was one of the speakers and blew all of us away with her story and then at NSA, National Speakers Association, she was one of the speakers. I kicked it off this conference, and there she was, one of the speakers, and got to sit by her, got an awesome picture with her. She is one of the most extraordinary speakers I've ever seen. It's proven that holding a grudge can peel you, enlighten self-interest to forgive. What if someone has wronged you more than once? Do you forgive and not trust as much? Thank you for the broadcast. Thank you. So um, I will finish my story about Maculay, but let me just address that one thing. Even if someone continues to wrong you, what you do is say, I see how you're operating. Obviously, you're coming from your own fears or your own pain, but I choose not to be a part of that. I forgive you because I forgive you so that I free myself, but I don't need to trust you. I don't need to get hooked into your snares or your web. That's part of setting boundaries. That's part of the self-care commitment. But I can see what's going on. Bless you and with love, forgive you. On it goes. I had to do that with something that totally could have brought me down. But I was like, I'm going to let this bring me down on top of everything else that's happened out of what this person had, their behaviors or their actions. And so I took everything I had, but I let them go. And I also said, how can I learn from this? How can I use this as something that's going to have me expand even more? That's going to help me uh, take what I've learned and grow who I am and grow my business even. And I'm telling you, the lessons that came out of that actually helped me double if not triple my business and and really even develop and expand my own self-respect and self-love because I was able to let that go and instead focus on how I could move forward. Thank you, baby boy. So I just, I think self-forgiveness and forgiveness of others is key to being free. You had to let go of a job recently. Oh, well, we're sending you love. So something new is meant to open up. Remember, you are forgiving their programs. You're forgiving their conditioning. Sandra, awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Spot on. So Sandra is definitely one to follow, by the way. she Her scopes are amazing. and She's so, powerful energy in her eyes. So one is gratitude in the morning, in the evening. Acknowledgement of yourself in the morning, in the evening. So you do those two together. Three, connection. So feeling your connection all around you, but also once a day, at least once a day, connect to someone, reach out to them if you haven't talked to in a while and acknowledge them and tell them you care and how you appreciate them or someone you just see and meet. So connection, that's three. Number four is our commitment to self-care. Uh, oh my goodness, Robert, thank you so much. <laughs> uh, and when our hearts are pure and true, nothing can penetrate the energy. Right, right on. Oh, and I, I'm sorry, number four was shift the judgment. So excuse me, five is commitment to self-care. Thank you, Yusuf. So four was shift the judgment. Shift the judgment on ourselves and on others. Don't even judge the judging. <laughs> just catch it, laugh, let it go, and just choose to look at the beauty of who everyone is and the life underneath all that. People are moving through their own stuff. We may agree with it or not, but we don't have to get hooked into it or even with ourselves and our own default pro programming that shows up. We can unhook from it by not judging it and just choosing to focus on the gratitude, the connection and acknowledgement, okay? We can control our mind and therefore our happiness, exactly. All right, so, and then five is self-care commitment. So we're gonna make that commitment. Oh, I miss Susan's comment. But um, our commitment to our taking care, better care of ourselves. So this week, what way can you expand your self-care? All right, we're gonna tune in about that. Eat better, move more, meditate, set your boundaries. Got to go, friends. Sending love and appreciation to you. We love you. So glad you tuned in. Exactly. Enlightened, empowered, inspired. And thank you. Catch it. Laugh. Let it go. You can put on a T-shirt. Exactly. Fit Baker Mom. I love you. All right. So then number uh, six is forgive yourself and others. Kisses and hugs. Mwah! Love you, Susan. So forgive yourself and others. We just talked about that. And then number seven, drum roll with hearts. Brrr, drum roll, please. Tap, 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 tap your screen for the drum roll. Number seven is play. <laughs> Give yourself permission to play. We're so serious. I was even getting serious there, right? To get serious, to, to get serious, no, don't get serious, to play, to play, play, play. Let yourself dance a little bit when you get up in the morning. 
have some fun, look at things with humor. How can you laugh? How can you play? You got a lot of tasks ahead of you that you don't want to do. I've got one ahead of me when I get off the phone here. Um, something I'm like, oh, I have resistance around doing. I'm like, okay, I've got resistance. Handstands like crazy. That's awesome. Give yourself permission to play. Thank you, Yusuf. That's right. Number seven. Also, you can play with your what you're having to do, your to-do that's right in front of you. So, okay, I'm going to play with this. I'm going to set the timer for 45 minutes and I'm just going to do however it shows up. And how can I play with this? Just ask the question. Don't know the answer ahead of time. Just ask the question and play with it. Make yourself have a smile and go, okay, I'm going to smile right now. I don't feel like smiling, but I'm going to smile <laughs> just so I can play with this. Try to shift my mood, right? So play is a big key word. <laughs> uh, um, and I actually came up with an acronym for play is powerfully loving as you, powerfully loving as yourself is play. When you're playing, you're powerfully loving as yourself. So fake it till you make it fun. Ooh, pensive TM. I love that one. That's good. Good. Thank you for the hearts too. Ah, uh, I'm eating hearts. <laughs> love that. Love that. So going over those seven again. And, our, and those who are in, we're going to do this together. And meet me on my Facebook group. We'll commit to each other. And I'm going to post this on my Facebook group. group uh, my Facebook group. My Facebook page. All right. Da boom. So glad you love it. Where can I see these in writing? So Cynthia Joy, if you go to Facebook, look me up on Facebook. I'm Lynn Rose, L-Y-N-N, and last name Rose, R-O-S-E. I can't add any more friends because I'm at my limit, but you can follow me. And when you follow me, I automatically follow you back. So we're connected. It's the same thing. You can post on my wall. I'm going to post this as soon as I get off of here, these seven, okay? Uh, and post it on my Facebook wall. And then you guys feel free to comment. We'll stay in touch that way, all right? Also, and we'll stay in tune throughout the week, and I'll post about this. I'll do this with my Facebook community, and you guys, too, be part of the Facebook community, and we'll post about how it's going and see where we are in a week. I know I was thinking about starting a Facebook page around this, so I'm so happy you're following. I'm so glad you can migrate your personal to FB business page. I know. I don't know if it's the best idea. Um, I think the jury's out on that, so I don't know that I would do that for several reasons, but it's okay. Um, about turning my personal page into a business page. So those seven, gratitude, acknowledgement, connect, shift the judgment, self-care commitment, forgive yourself and play. And it's going to be written on my Facebook page, Lynn Rose, L-Y-N-N-R-O-S-E. I wouldn't do that. Yes, I, I get it, Sandra, and I'm not going to, but hey, some people choose to do it and that's totally cool. Uh, yeah. So any questions or anything else you guys want to share before we sign off and I get this going for you guys? Lynn is my oldest sister's middle name and Rose is my late grandma's name. Cynthia Joy. You're awesome. And Joy is a beautiful name. Create a Periscope page. Just FB. Connected. Awesome. Okay, great. Yeah, I, I may do that, you guys. So I will think about that. For now, though, connect with me there and I'll let you know if I create a whole Periscope page for that. Thank you. Love talks like this. Yes, it does. Thank you. Thank you. I'm so glad you guys like that. So was this valuable? You want more scopes like this or we'd kind of dive in around a certain topic? Because the other thing I'd love for you to do like this, it was Inspire something. I'll have to, I forget her name now. Darn it. I just saw her in someone else's scope. Um, okay. We'll look out for that global meditation. Thank you. Um, okay, good. Is to a request. She requested to do a, a scope on self-love. So I went, okay. So you guys go ahead and request what you want. How do you motivate yourself to exercise and take care of yourself when it's not a habit? That's a good one. Let's address that. Sure, thoughtful scopes are the best. Love your light more, please. Just tweeted this scope. Thank you. Awesome. So I'll tell you what, that can be hard. It can really be hard to get motivated. I have so been there because I fell off the wagon, meaning I fell off the wagon of regular exercise and eating well. And um, so I started gaining a little weight. I wasn't feeling well. I was really tired. And um, my body just was, I just wasn't feeling good because I wasn't moving. I wasn't eating well. I'd lost some of my self care. Um, darn it. I don't quite remember the name. Sorry, whoever just asked that. Let's do a Saturday mediation or meditation spectacular for everyone. I'd love to. Let's do it, Sandra. Um, yay. So, four minute Tabata workouts are great. Well, Fit Baker Mom, point us in the direction of a Tabata workout. Okay. Um, gosh, now I need you to remind, remind me what I was talking about. I was on point and it just went away. 
you guys remember what I was about to say? It just went. Next life in YouTube. Okay, so, so oh, make a request on the Facebook group, uh, on my Facebook page, <laughs> um, to go ahead and if you want, request a topic. Okay, and I'd love to then do that. So this this came out of some request. What type of scopes we want exactly? What topic would you like to see talked about? You were off point and had to regroup. Exactly. That's where. But I'm back on point now. Uh, that's what I was going to say. Was just let me know your request, and then happy to do it. Do you want to be around music? Do you want to take music requests? Do you want to have a fun, playful one where Bob and I are doing characters? You can call your FB page, Lynn Rose Coaching. This way you can keep the personal one too. Yusuf, you're so awesome. He's so helpful. You're great. Thank you. <laughs> awesome. Oh, hi, Rambo Joe. Rambo Joe, you got to watch the replay. We had a, such a great community in here and great distinctions. We want to share it with you, but we're glad you joined us, at least for the end here. And uh, definitely, like I've been saying, you guys, follow each other. World's fastest workout and search on YouTube. We'll do. We'll do. So we're going to search Tabata on YouTube when we get off here. And you're going to go look me up on Facebook, Lynn Rose, L-Y-N-N, last name Rose, R-O-S-E. And on there, I'm going to be posting all these seven actions to self-love and some of my reference articles you can go check out. And, um, and then also stay in touch. You can tell me requests of what you'd like to topic about here on the scopes. Tell people about me. All right, Rambo Joe, because you requested, why not? Joe Wesley. My name is Joseph Reynolds Wesley. I'm planning to become a musician in addition to being a movie producer. And he gives a website to go check out. Yay, Rambo. Okay. So yeah, and I do connect casts from time to time, meaning I liked connecting my community to each other. So I'll read your profile, have you guys connect to each other. It's a little different than Blast Your Cast. It's where I get to talk about you and celebrate you and you guys can then follow each other. So I do that sometimes too. And then behind the scenes at events, uh, someone asked about, oh, you're amazing. Thanks so much for pouring into us like this. Oh, thank you very much, Fit Baker Mom. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I just love it. it makes me so happy and it's good for me. And for me to make the commitment to you that this next week, I'm going to follow this self-love plan. So if you want to do the hashtag self-love plan, awesome. If you're going to scope about how it's going, put a hashtag self-love plan and Atlin Rose in your scope title so that I can catch it, you know, or tweet me that you have, uh, tweet out that you are doing it so I can catch it. All right. I'd love to see it. You can tell it makes you happy. You have a great energy. Thank you, Alba. Thank you. And I'm tired right now, you know, but we can feel tired. We can feel down and still be able to feel happy and still be able to do what we need to do. Right. So I, re I really appreciate that. <laughs> yeah, I really appreciate that. So um, look me up on Facebook, Lynn Rose, L-Y-N-N-R-O-S-E. There might be other Lynn Roses, but I'm the one when you see the Facebook banner page, a bunch of people dancing behind me. Okay, it should be fairly obvious which one I am. Thank you, sweetheart. Thank you, Sandra. Look forward to more and still add tremendous value to the world. Yeah. Awesome. This has been wonderful with you guys. I appreciate you. I value you. Let me just say, go to an air show. Uh, okay. Lynn Rose, well, oh, look at you, Yusuf. You just <laughs> typed in my Facebook name. Yours is one of the grayed out, but still works. I don't know what that means, but... Okay, <laughs> maybe you can explain that better. Oh, look at that. Jake Free in the house. I love that. Hey, will we see you at the Joe show? Yes, you will. Yes, you will. I love Joe. Joe Simon, S-Y-M-O-N. One of my favorite folks to see his shows. Just makes me laugh, makes my heart happy, and he's so fun. So uh, definitely another one to recommend to go follow. All right, guys, I'm going to sign off because I got lots to do here. I want to get on the Facebook page, get this out there for you. And on more scopes ahead, just send, you know, tweet me or on the Facebook, let me know your requests of type of topics and just know that what's coming ahead for you, okay? Take care. You're pretty today. Just today, though. Yesterday, you. Yesterday, you were ugly. I'm just kidding. I know that's not what you meant. <laughs> but thank you very much. Uh, grayed out. Looks like something you cannot choose, but link still works fine. Oh, interesting. Okay. Good. As long as it works. Good. Thank you so much. Peace. Namaste. Have a beautiful day. And remember to tune in to what is working instead of what is not working on. Where your attention goes, wait, no, where your attention flows, abundance grows. Oh, and someone said a question. I just missed it. Next time, okay? 
All right, you guys. Namaste.